I'm joined today by Brian Fannin, who's a staff actuary with a focus on research at the CAS. And we're going to show you how you can interact with the code and do, do pull requests, fix typos, make changes, propose new features uh, using GitHub. So let me uh, just show you to start with the um, code in GitHub. So if you navigate to GitHub and you find um, the aggregate library, so it's uh, github.com slash minor slash aggregate. This is the repo with all of the uh, code in that I've written over the last several years. You can see there's been uh, 246 commits. It's fairly active. Um, there's in the top level, um, there's a few files that are to do with building and updating the package. The source code all lives in this aggregate folder. Um, and you can see the, you know, the aggregate um, object itself is built in this distributions uh, function. We've got the portfolio objects, spectral handles, distortion functions, and so forth. Um, and then the documentation all lives in the doc folder. This is kind of the source code that builds out the documentation that's shown uh, using the read the docs. So there's uh, several hundred pages of documentation here. And if you, you know, flow through it, You'll, you'll unfortunately find, because of so much of it, there are uh, typos in here. And uh, Brian, being eagle-eyed, has, has actually <laughs> spotted one of these typos. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to hand it over to him, and he is going to show you, starting from cloning the repo in GitHub, how he can propose a fix. And then we'll come back to me, and I will accept that, and it'll flow through into the documentation. So, Brian, over to you. OK. So I'm going to share my window here. Uh, I'm at github.com, sort of the default. And let's say that I've heard about this fantastic uh, library from Steve Mildenhall. I want to know how to make a change because um, I have spotted something in the documentation. And I can do a search and say Mildenhall. Maybe that'll show up as the username. Uh, it does. Here he is, independent researcher, speaker, and author, Steve Mildenhall. And here is the uh, the repo, the repository. So once I've clicked on this, I'm going to fork the uh, the repository. What this will do is this will make a copy of all of the files in the aggregate project under my own GitHub account. So here we are, the research actuary account. Um, we've got the aggregate repo here, and it should look exactly like what Steve showed you a moment ago. Um, I'll pause to say that this is a fantastic way to take a look behind the curtain at all of the programming logic to generate the uh, the aggregate distributions. But don't stop there. <laughs> uh, let's go a little bit further and try to help Steve out with this uh, documentation error. So I've clicked on doc, and I'm going to go here to technical guides. Um, and I know where this error is, should be right here. So, so here, obviously there's that. some background work that's gone on here that, you know, Brian and I planned this out ahead of time. So we're, we're just imagining here that, right. you know, you, you have found this error. So he, he, he knows where to look for this. But Yeah, we do. This is where you put the, uh, the turkey in the oven and then you immediately take it out because uh, yeah. we have only so many minutes. Um, so I'm going to scroll down. I, I, and actually here, I have forgotten where it is. Bum, bum, bum. So when that works. Um, the search for generalized is the thing. Generalized, that's the word that I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. and we're going to generalize. OK, there we go. There we go. Cool. There it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this uh, group C thing, which looks OK here, but it's not rendering properly on the. Um, it's, it's further along, uh, Brian. It's the, the group, the next one at the end of the line there. Same Got line, here but they, that, that's it. This guy right here. OK, yeah, yeah that, that is not what we want. So ordinarily, what I would do is I would clone this repository. That means that I'm taking a copy from the cloud from GitHub and copying it to my laptop. In the interest of time, we're not going to confuse things too much. So I'm just going to edit from within the browser. Again, it's not typical, but there's also nothing wrong with, with, with doing that. Okay, so I have found the section that we want to edit. And it is right here that we have an issue. So this is 
common LaTeX way to define a mathematical expression, but for RST, do math and colons and then an opening tick and then a back tick. And Steve, do I have that syntax right? I don't think you want the space after colon. Let's just uh, close that up. Okay. There we go. Let's go with that. We'll, yep. we'll give that, that a great. try. Okay. Yep. So I've made the edit, and actually there was another one right here. Let's let's do this as well. While we're here, the math and replace the dollar signs with back ticks. Yep. Perfect. So I'm going to save these changes. Um, Thanks a lot. Okay. All right. So I'm making a commit, saving that. And, and at this at point, this we should say that only affects Brian's copy. That doesn't affect the major thing. But what we want to do now is merge that back into the kind of the master source. And that's going to right. be the full request. OK. And <laughs> I've forgotten how to do this. Um, I hit pull requests here or under yours. New pull request to the right. Okay. Think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because yeah, we've got the it. base repository is yours. Yeah. And so I'm going to create a pull request. Okay. Uh, I don't need any further comments. I think it will be evident uh, to you. Create the pull request. And here we go. So right. GitHub will check whether it, it can immediately merge. Uh, but at this point, I'm going to stop sharing and pass it over to Steve. All right, so let's go back to my window. And... <laughs> okay, so now you can see on my side, it says there's one uh, pull request pending here, one open request uh, fixing the uh, math LaTeX. This was opened uh, a minute ago by Research Actuary. So I click on that. Um, it will show me, you know, the commits that go into this. I can look at the uh, the details, and we get the usual differences. The red is the original, the green is what's changed, and it highlights the differences. So I can uh, see all of those um, those uh, changes that that Brian made, and then I can approve that kind of squash and and merge. And so this is doc change. And oh, confirm merges in, and there we go. Now, if we go back to the code here, it should now say on my side that we've now fixed this uh, um, single file that was in technical guides here. Um, where is it? It's in this guy is the one that's just changed. And um, and we see the uh, the beautiful CAS logo uh, yes. as uh, making a contribution. Two two contributors to this uh, to this <laughs> file, and then I, I'll also just mention here um, is a really beautiful feature for building the documentation that um, this is all handled automatically by this uh, read the docs, and you can see every it this this site monitors GitHub. And uh, you can see right now it's it's rebuilding the documentation as a result of us uh, committing that change to the documentation. So if you come back and you you refresh and you look at this page in about five minutes, uh, it will show that updated change and uh, everything uh, has gone through. So I'd encourage folks, you know, you can't break anything with this. You have your own copy. Things come to me for approval. I can see exactly what you've done. If there's any issues, I can comment on the changes you've made. I can request tweaks to the changes you've made. Uh, this is a wonderful way that folks can get involved and, and help with this. You know, start with the documentation, but feel free to have a go at, at anything. I'm really, you know, would, would love to have more people um, working on the code and helping with this. Um, and uh, GitHub makes this really very easy uh, way to collaborate and work on these types of things together. So, I know, Brian, any other uh, comments from you? Thank you for your assistance with this. That was great.
Yeah, I will just echo everything that you said. Uh, many hands make light work. Uh, you were only one person. You've done something tremendous, but uh, there will be some errors in the documentation and elsewhere. Uh, this is a fantastic way to augment your wonderful contribution. It's also a great way to get familiar with the, uh, the documentation and all of that impressive logic there. So it's a way to plug in to what's what's happening, uh, the state of the art, and uh, I'm delighted to uh, try and help. All right, great. Well, thank you very much. Hope you've uh, enjoyed this video.